Hi, Leo, and welcome to your November 2023 horoscope. 2024 is almost around the corner, and if you're curious what it has in store for you, then I wanted to let you know that I've opened up 10 slots for personalized readings. This is for those of you that want to know what 2024 has in store for you. There's only 10 spots available. Make sure you book them down in the description box. On November 2nd, we start off the month with Jupiter in your 10th house, opposing the Sun in your 4th house. There's a huge focus for you this month on home, your foundation, and during this day, you might especially have to strike a balance between all of the amazing things happening in your career and this deeper need that you feel to spend time with your family or to spend time at home. Just a day later, on November 3rd, we have Venus in your second house opposing Neptune in your eighth house. There's been a huge focus for you in the last month with Venus in your second house on your finances, on building up your self-esteem. You might have been spending a little bit more. Um, and during this day, you might especially find that your spending habits are being challenged by this beautiful, unconditional love that you have for others, that you want to support them, that you want to take care of them, and the limits that you have with your wallet and how much you can actually extend to them. Just a day later, on November 4th, Saturn goes direct in your 8th house. So Saturn is officially done with Aquarius. It's not going back there for a while. It's going to fully step into its journey in Pisces. And for you, that's your 8th house. So for the last couple of months, since March actually, you may have been facing with some realizations and becoming more adult when it comes to your intimate relationships. It's been time for you to really take a look at all of the ways that you've been playing small or maybe all of the ways that you've been honest and vulnerable with others that are no longer serving you. Perhaps it's a time to grow up in that area. If you feel like you're facing a brick wall, don't give up. A lot of times with Saturn, you just need to sort of step back and walk around the wall and find another way to get to your end destination. On November 13th, we have a new moon in Scorpio in your fourth house, opposing Uranus in your 10th house. So the moon, the sun, and Mars are all conjunct in your fourth house. The sun and Mars are actually conjunct for pretty much the whole month, moving closer and farther away from each other as the month goes on. And especially having this focus in your fourth house, as we already talked, there is a huge part of you that wants to stay at home, that wants to feel cozy, safe, and secure, and that perhaps wants to spend more time with family or thinking about your roots and your ancestors. So there might be some craziness happening for you in your career around this time that is really forcing you to find a balance between these two. There are these needs that your career and your work has uh, for you, these responsibilities, and it might really challenge you and ask you to step away from your home because things need to be dealt with. On November 17th, the conjunction between Sun and Mars becomes exact. And as it does that, it trines Neptune in your eighth house. So any new change, a realization, or step that we've been able to take um, in regards to finding the balance between home and public life might be supported by your beautiful, unconditional love that you have for others, Leo. And it might really encourage you to give even more and to show others that they're loved. On November 21st, Mars and the Sun reach the final degrees of Scorpio, and before they enter Sagittarius, they sextile Pluto on their way out. Pluto is in your sixth house. You've been spending the last 20 years learning about your health, about your routine, establishing a discipline, getting a good sleeping schedule in place. 
And it's a beautiful wrap up of Scorpio season, which is about uh, spending time at home and diving into yourself and your foundations. You're being asked to find that power, that purpose, that beautiful routine you've established for yourself and to really use it as a way to ground yourself, even when there is no time to have uh, extensive routines, even when there's no time to really spend time at home and enjoy your home and feel cozy and safe. It's about realizing that you can carry that routine with you wherever you go. On November 23rd, the sun enters Sagittarius and as it does that, it squares Saturn. Just a day later, Mars also enters Sagittarius on November 24th and it squares Saturn. So this symbolizes a shift from the attention and the focus on staying home to actually going out, exploring, doing things for fun, making sure you're enjoying your everyday life. This switch might not happen that easily or that smoothly because you have Saturn putting sort of a damper on the depth and the beauty, the intimacy, the honesty that you want to experience with other human beings. So perhaps it's making it a little bit harder for you to connect to others and therefore making it a little bit harder for you to sort of leave your home and go out, explore and have fun. Don't be afraid, this transit just lasts for a little bit of time. The Sun and Mars move quite quickly, so before you know it, uh, you will be back to your normal happy self. On November 27th, we have the full moon in Gemini in your 11th house. The Sun and Mars will be opposing it from your 5th house. And during this full moon, we also have Venus conjunct the south node in your third house. There might be some information being revealed to you during this full moon when it comes to your future plans, goals, your vision of where you're going in the next five to 10 years. And that might be coming from all of the new things that you're learning about what, what, brings you fun, what brings you joy, uh, what you love to do in your day to day. And this might especially have to do with the way you communicate with others. Um, Venus and the South Node in your third house are asking you to stop saying nice things when you don't mean them. Stop saying nice things in order to people please. And this might in result impact where you see going yourself in the future. And this Venus and South Node conjunction only gets stronger after the full moon. It reaches its peak on November 29th. So Leo, a beautiful month of balance for you, trying to find a balance between staying home and going out in public and between doing things for fun and making sure you're planning for the future. If anybody has got it, I know it's you, Leo. For 2024, you can get some extra support. You can book a personalized one hour reading together with me. We'll jump on a call, we'll pull up your chart and we'll look at what it means for you exactly. The booking link can be found down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna catch the December horoscopes and I hope to see you again soon.